your whole bowl on the ground. Oh, and that, yeah. that was good. See how she stopped herself. She had no, I mean, don't get me any wrong. She was like, that is for me. Right. All right, so now she's gonna, she's watching you. And go ahead and go on inside. I'm gonna let you defend. So just stay inside for a sec. So she put her head down, she kind of walked away. She's thinking about it. So we're gonna watch her ears in this video. See, every time she looks at it, she puts her ears back. Now she's lowering her head. She went and tested the water since she came back. She's like, can I get that? Can I? She's having a whole little conversation with herself right now. And because she's such a good looking dog, she gets able to get away with a lot of things. She's awfully cute. Yes, we see you're cute. But because he corrected with a couple good times where of course I wasn't filming because this is the least cooperative dog in terms of filming stuff I've ever worked with. Um, but this is a good little vignette because every time she looked and thought about breaking the rules, you could see her ears go back. So she's a good dog about communicating what she, her intent is if you know how to read her signs. So let's talk about those uh, while we have this not great footage. Um, so at least you can have some benefit to this. So we talked about the ears. If they're forward and up, that's more alerting, that's commanding, that's confident. It doesn't right. necessarily mean aggressive or assertive, but it's in a more confident, in the more confident family of things. Okay. Um, if she's got her, uh, if you're, you're correcting her ears flip back or she flips her ears back, that means she's insecure about something. She's feeling more subordinate, uh, more respectful about it. Um, also the head, if she's lowering her head, that's also another indicator. And she's trying to hunch down and make herself look smaller. She's not feeling good about herself if she's hiding underneath something like she is now also shows that she doesn't she's lacking a little confidence in this particular situation yeah. so we're not saying you know we're not correcting her now but she's still thinking about it so she feels guilty in her own brain as i miss her as she walks around but she's gone over there a couple times to test the waters the great thing is i do have footage is every time she goes over and she thinks about it, you see her ears flip yeah, back right. so you're going to be able to read something about her uh, when she put her ears back, that's more subordinate, more of a follower position, uh, that sort of thing. So uh, if you correct her, you should see her ears flip back. If they don't, then she didn't hear you or didn't recognize your correction. Mm -hmm. okay. So, Sorry to no, no, please. I gotta please do. Stoys. But he's gonna, well, no, that's, no, that's great. This is a good distraction. Do what you got to do. Okay. So exactly. when he Still gets up, well, she's well, going to try to go take her food. Okay. So then you're going to take over. Now watch her. Mm -hmm. So she walked over, she stopped. She, as soon as she looked at it, she stopped and turned and walked away. She's re recognizing that his, his authority, even though he's not projecting, he's not correcting. So uh, since we haven't had good footage and this is good footage, we're going to use it. Um, something else to look at is her tail. It's not, is it wagging? It's where it's wagging. Can you actually leave that stuff there? Where it's wagging. Sorry, say that again? Yeah, I'll, I'll mention it here okay. in a sec. Um, so if, it, if her tail is up, that's like flying the flag, assertive. Mm -hmm. I want you to. I want to make myself big. I want okay. you to be able to see me. If she feels uh, accommodating, it's going to wag between, basically parallel with her spine. Mm -hmm. uh, so kind of a level tail. Okay. Um, and if you see it going down, especially if it's going between her legs, that shows insecurity. Yeah. And so we don't ever want to pet a dog when its tail is between its legs, mm -hmm. okay. uh, because we're reinforcing whatever the dog is doing when we oh, pet yeah. it. So if it's insecure or excited or fearful or aggressive when we pet it, we're reinforcing the exact wrong thing. Right. Um, but no, I, she's a very, very smart dog, I can tell. She's very aware of what's going on. Mm -hmm. So um, watching her body language will help, will give you some good indicators for what she's thinking and what mm -hmm. she's feeling. Okay. Uh, and so, you know, just like we're doing here, a little recording. See, she looked at it, her ears went, and she turned and walked away. Um, so that's a really good memory for her. Now, does she lick a lot? It's more of a tenderizing thing okay. before she bites. Okay. To tenderize the meat. In the area, <laughs> and then... Oh, believe me, I know. So now <laughs> she she's really does, she she's test she's probing right there. She was. Yeah. It, it, when does the correction <laughs> kick in? Hi. <laughs> that's put down the shield and let me go have my food. Mm -hmm. So, when see the ears are back. Like that? Should we be like, that's called, well, that's called demand reason. barking. I wouldn't okay. do that. We'll talk okay. about that separately. Right. So this is a good little video that's gonna show you, and you, that was a great example right there. She ducked her head and kind of walked down. She's saying, sure she lacks a little confidence mm -hmm. in what she's doing, because probably she's still thinking about, can I go get some of the spaghetti and some, <laughs> sure. in the bowl, sitting right there on the floor with nobody defending it. Right? 